Hello, and welcome to the second video in our three-part series on using Garasign to deploy a fast and secure code signing system. This video will show Garasign's advanced code signing features for manual release signing, as well as automated signing for your CI-CD environment. Let's get started. In the first video, we showed how Garasign uses HSMs, strong authentication, and client-side hashing to make code signing secure, fast, and easy. A common follow-up question is, if Garasign only receives the hash of the data to sign, how does it distinguish a good hash from a bad hash? Authentication and authorization only proves that the requester is a valid user who is allowed to use the requested key. But what if a valid user tries to sign something malicious or otherwise invalid? This could be caused by a compromised build server, an insider threat, or a misconfigured system. Garasign provides two solutions to this problem, one manual and one automated. The manual solution requires a quorum of approvers to approve the request before the signature is generated. If any of them reject the request, the signature will not be generated. Let's see it in action. First, we change the key's policy so that the usage requires manual approvals. Now, when we execute our signing command, the process will hang and wait for the approvals to be made. A link to the signing request is sent out to the key's quorum of approvers. From here, we can reject or approve the request. Let's approve it. Now, the process completes successfully and the code is signed. For this demo, we are only requiring one approver, but Garasign supports M of N quorums and even tiers of approvers, with each tier having its own quorum size. This is useful, for example, when the development team must first approve the request before the project management team does, and so on up the leadership chain. Manual approvals work well when the number of signing requests is low, such as during quarterly production releases. However, when the volume of signing increases, such as in a CI-CD environment, manual approvals are not a scalable solution. For a larger volume of signatures, Garasign's automated hash validation feature is a better solution. This solution allows Garasign to retrieve the source code from the source control repository, perform a deterministic build, and verify that the requested hash to sign matches the hash that Garasign computes independently. Garasign can even run static and dynamic analysis on the code to look for issues. Let's see it in action. Let's change the key's policy to one that enforces automated hash validation. Now, when we run our signing command, it fails. This failure wasn't actually caused by the hash validation. It's because we haven't yet told Garasign which source control repository to retrieve from. We give Garasign the information it needs by setting some environment variables during signing, which this script does for us. Since this malicious binary does not match what is in the source code repository, when we request a sign, automated hash validation will occur and detect a problem. As expected, the signing failed. This time, Garasign detected a hash mismatch and notified the auditors about the issue. In our CI-CD pipeline, on the other hand, we are signing code that actually comes from the source code repository. As a result, signing with that same key works as expected. A natural question is whether hash validation negatively impacts performance. The answer depends on how it is configured. Garasign supports two hash validation modes, pre-sign and post-sign. In pre-sign validation, the hash is validated before the signature is generated, thereby acting as a preventative control. In post-sign validation, the hash is validated after the signature is generated, thereby acting as a detective control. Up until now, we have been using pre-sign validation. Let's see what post-sign validation looks like. First, let's change the key's policy to require post-sign hash validation. This time, when we run the same script as before and attempt to sign code that does not match what is in the repository, it signs successfully. However, after a short period of time, we receive a notification telling us the hash that was signed did not match the hash of the code in the repository. The signature was already generated, but the mismatch was quickly detected. 
Post-sign hash validation is an excellent balance of speed and security for performance-sensitive environments, such as CI-CD pipelines. We hope you enjoyed this video on Garrison's advanced code signing capabilities. Check out the next video in this series to learn how Garrison can scan code for malware during signing and can even speed up the CI-CD pipeline through parallel processing. Thanks for watching.